Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. We're really excited because today, Ali and I are going to go on a little adventure around Rio. So first, we're gonna stop at the Botanical Gardens, which is supposed to be some of the most beautiful botanical gardens in the world. Next, uh, not far away, is a place called Parque Lage, which is this historic mansion built at the base of the Christ the Redeemer. After that, we'll hopefully get some lunch and just walk around the historic uh, area of Santa Teresa. And in the evening, and to catch the sunset, we're gonna go to the very iconic mountain of Pongiasuka, up the trolley, and hopefully collect some really great footage and have some fun along the way, and we'll be sure to share it with you guys, so let's go. On our way to the Botanical Gardens, we pass by the Jockey Club, which is basically the horse racing track in Rio. We actually saw this from our helicopter ride earlier in Rio, uh, and it looked really cool uh, from up there. We didn't realize how close we were, so we decided to add this little stop to our itinerary. Uh, it's open, so it was free to enter. We're just kind of walking around, which is kind of crazy. Beautiful architecture, um, really beautiful scenery, as well as it is right by the Botanical Gardens. So absolutely beautiful, and we're gonna go kind of walk around, enjoy our time, and get some footage. We just finished up our time here at the Jockey Club, now off to Parque Lage. Just finishing up our time here at Parque Lage. Definitely worth the visit if you are already at the Botanical Gardens. Absolutely beautiful, uh, great for Instagram photos and videos as well. All right, so a couple pieces of bad news. So number one, we lost our drone. So uh, you probably saw the clip where I was recording and then all of a sudden I heard something in the trees above me. Um, that was our drone that got stuck um, in the trees, Ali was flying the drone, hit the return to home feature, which usually kind of hovers, uh, basically, without getting into too much detail, it didn't act in the way that it should have, and it descended, it immediately descended down and, and got caught in this giant tree, about probably estimated to be like six stories tall, very, very, very tall tree, very big tree, and so far up that we could barely see the drone in the tree. We tried to throw things to get it down, we tried to shake the tree to no avail, we tried to get a super long stick, a uh, security guard told us to stop throwing stuff at it, understandably, um, and also told us that we'd have to pay a fine and and all this stuff that I don't even want to get into because it's a little bit too stressful. But uh, we tried for three hours to get it down. No way of getting it down and really no point of us staying there, even though it broke our hearts to leave it there and it's still there uh, and it kills me. But um, we left it there, left our contact information with the security guards. Uh, and also with a couple um, residents there that we're just kind of visiting that live in Rio. So hopefully if it falls down at some point, they'll let us know and we'll coordinate a way to pick it up. If you're from Rio or, you, or live in Rio, uh, let us know in the comments. So maybe we'll connect and uh, you can help us out. So that's number one. And the second piece of bad news is as you can see behind me, um, we went ahead and head, took an Uber straight to Pongiasuka. So we're here at the base. Uh, you can see the mountain behind me, but we're here at the base to take a trolley up and the website said it was open, we called, they said they were open, and we got here and it's closed. Um, so, and they're only open on certain bizarre kind of days, random. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but we're still gonna try to make the most out of our day and go straight to Santa Teresa, this uh, kind of historic neighborhood in Rio. We're still safe, so we're thankful for that. 
you know, we still have this camera, thankfully, uh, so we can still communicate and, and record uh, some beautiful places and hopefully get some more good footage um, and, and adventures today. But uh, yeah, just want to give you an update. We'll try to make the most out of this day. Stay tuned. So we just arrived here at the Saint Laurent staircase, which is a very famous, very colorful staircase here in Rio, specifically in Santa Teresa. And something I will say is on our way in to the staircase here at Santa Teresa, we passed by some other areas that we were thinking about stopping, including uh, this famous aqueduct, some other historic buildings. But as we were coming in, we noticed it was, seemed very, very sketchy to us. And our Uber driver even told me uh, with my camera out to be very, very careful even in the Uber or even in the car. So something to just keep in mind, if you're planning on coming to Santa Teresa, do some research, just kind of be on alert, be careful. But right here at the staircase, as you can see behind me, uh, a lot of police, very, very safe. So we're gonna just gonna explore the staircase uh, and some of the surrounding area, but not too far, and hopefully get some food and drink because we're hungry, but let's go. Look what we found. It's Ohio. We made it to the top. Well, almost. The very, very top is up here, but we made it almost all the way uh, here. There's all the staircase down there. And this staircase was actually designed by a Chilean born artist who came to Brazil and lived in one of uh, the houses down here in the 90s. So designed all of this as a hobby in the 90s. His name was Jorge Celaron. Jorge Celeron, therefore the Celeron staircase. And what's really cool about the staircase is there are tiles from provinces, states, and countries and territories from all around the world. So a fun game that you can play when you come here, and I definitely would recommend it. It's a really, really cool, really cool. place. If it's a short Uber driver way uh, or you're staying in the area, definitely I think worth checking out, at least for us. Um, and a really cool game that you can play is trying to find the state, province, or country that you're from. Now we're gonna go back to our Airbnb in Copacabana to eat, drink, and recover from the day. And uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys uh, liked the vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more uh, to follow all of our other adventures through Brazil, as well as our adventures elsewhere abroad, which we're really excited about. A lot of great stuff coming soon. Uh, and again, be sure to comment if you're from Rio because we could really use your help. As always, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. Until next time, ciao. <laughs>